Maritime Made on Eastlink TV, presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., because great things are happening. At Totally Raw Pet Food in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, their highly nutritious pet food line was created in 2003 after owners Karen Campbell and Doug Malloy's young German Shepherd, Daisy, became very ill. Advocates for a raw pet food diet are strong believers that whole, simple food is better for pets than processed food. To make their most popular selling beef patties, the raw material from local suppliers is kept frozen until it's needed for production. This load of raw material is lifted with a forklift onto the production line for batch making. The ingredients need to thaw or temper a bit for the production equipment to produce the best consistency when grinding. To balance the dietary needs, the patties are made up of 80% muscle, 10% bone, and 10% organ. This recipe includes tripe, lung, muscle meat, liver, and bone. To begin batching, the meat is loaded onto the supply tray, which is raised up and then dumps the frozen meat into the roto claw. Here the frozen blocks are broken up into large pieces. An internal auger breaks up the large blocks and the meat slides down into the catchment container of the coarse grinder. At this stage, the large pieces are ground to a rough size of two inches by one inch pieces. The production worker continues to load the raw ingredients into the batching line as the coarse grind fills the mixer grinder. Powerful rotating paddles in the mixer grinder blend the varied ingredients into an even consistency. It takes about five minutes. Coming out of the mixer grinder, the meat goes through another internal auger. And a finer grind is pushed out through a plate. The grinder creates pieces that are about a quarter of an inch in size. The ground meat is collected in an external bin. When it's filled, the next one is put in place. The production worker checks the consistency and texture of the mixture. For the next step of patty making, the ground meat needs to be workable, not too mushy and still frozen, but not too frozen. The bin of ground meat is loaded onto an elevator, lifted up and loaded for patty making. The machine is started up and the settings are confirmed. Inside the patty making machine, two large augers turn and bring the meat along the bottom of the machine. The meat is pushed down the line where it gets shaped into a patty and dropped onto a patty paper. Stacks of five half pound patties are stacked by the machine and rollers move them down to the end of the line. Placing one more patty paper on top of the last patty in the stack, they're quickly loaded onto a storage tray. This production line can make up 15,000 pounds of patties per day. The storage trays are loaded into the quick freeze freezer, where they will stay for an hour to ensure they are fully frozen. Then the patties are removed from the freezer and are ready for the packaging line. A best before date is added to each box along with a label. The boxes are taped up, lined with plastic, ready to be filled. Six stacks of five patties are loaded into each box. Then the top is sealed and it's ready for the customer. Products are also packaged in five pound bags. Two stacks of patties go into each bag. Then the bags are heat sealed. The patties will stay frozen until a customer thaws one for serving raw. A large dog would eat two to three patties a day, while a small dog would eat about a half a patty each day. 
Totally Raw Pet Food also produces over 15 varieties of treats on site. Some are chews, and some are quickly eaten treats. Fresh local male capelin are a bycatch of the capelin row fishery. Here they are put to good nutritional use. Spread out on a tray, they are then loaded into a low temperature dehydrator for four hours. Dried capelin are a great source of protein, omega-3s and vitamins. Another popular treat for dogs is dehydrated beef liver. Here the frozen beef liver is cut into quarter inch strips on a band saw and laid out on a tray making sure there is proper spacing for air circulation. Beef liver is high in protein and vitamins. These treats are especially useful for pets with allergies because each treat has only one ingredient. The liver takes 14 hours to dehydrate on this low temperature. A low temperature is used because cooking them would destroy some nutrients. Making treats through dehydration removes the water from the product and shrinks the treat down to a brittle consistency. Here a water activity level test is done to make sure the product is shelf stable and maintains the best quality. Small pieces of Kaplan are cut up and fill the sample cup. The water activity tester is placed on top. The beef liver treats are tested too. The reading shows the products are ready to go. After creating many products for dogs, Totally Raw Pet Food decided to pay some attention to the cats. Individual servings of raw cat food are the latest product developed by Totally Raw Pet Food. It is made the same way, kept frozen, and shipped to stores across Canada and locally sold in Totally Raw stores in Bears Lake, Dartmouth, and Moncton. At the end of the production day, safety is the most important thing on the list. The entire production line is sprayed down with foam force and thoroughly cleaned, ready for the next day.